Hello there, uh, YouTubers. This is a very short video about um, ignition coils that are used on an awful lot of Ford cars. This this one is the the 40 unit. And as you can see, that's a, a genuine uh, Ford Motorcraft coil. Um, the way they work is there is three connections on the end, if you see, um, and you have your four uh, ignition leads going off to your plugs. There's the replacement one in, in, in position. And how these work, it basically fires one side of the coil and then the other, alternately like that. But both, in this case, the cylinders number one and number four, both fire at the same time. And two and three, which are the middle two there, they both fire at the same time. So basically, the, uh, the engine's at top dead centre on one of them, ready in the firing position. It's also firing at bottom dead centre on the other cylinder. So it's not really doing anything, hence why it's called a wasted spark system. Um, it is, like I say, used on an awful lot of Fords. Certainly the Focuses and um, uh, Mondeo petrols and all sorts of things. Now basically how it works, the connection's on, to, on the end of the core, those three wires. The middle connection gets a positive feed from the ignition system and in this case here this wiring plug here comes from the ignition in the car and onto this um, plug on the end of the uh, coil middle wire is positive and what uh, actually makes the coil um, fire is that both the connections that either either side of it are shorted to earth to complete the circuit by the ECU. Now there's the ECU and this is a, a fairly common one that's fitted to a lot of Fiestas. This, this Fiesta this on's a 2004 as featured in the uh, video I done the other day on uh, electric windows. Now what it turned out to be is there was a feed there um, but the, the uh, ECU unit was faulty. I traced the wiring Took the plug off, and it's actually connected to a couple of the top connections on on the on the ECU plug. And uh, inside the ECU, there is a couple of um, transistors. Well, they're probably IGBTs, which are a little bit more sophisticated, that pulse on and off very quickly. And that is how, how the how the, um, the it's actually fired. Um, the thing to be said about these, they are well known for the coil going, um, which I presume is what's happened with this one, and. The coil goes and it takes the ECU with it, or damages it. Now I had this one repaired by a firm um, in Stafford, um, I think they're called ECU Technologies. And I've, I've been phoned round and phoned a few friends and things like that. They, they were the, uh, the cheapest and appeared to know what they were talking about. I have to say, one or two people I did speak to um, seemed to be uh, dishing out a fair amount of... Um, I think we could call it BS because there was people wanting to charge three, three hundred and sixty pounds to do the same job, um, whereas these people um, got it sorted out in two um, sweet time uh, for I think one hundred and sixty quid, including carriage in both directions. So I think that's a bit better. But the engine is um, up and running nicely now, and it certainly wasn't before. So um, that's a very common problem we got on a lot of Fords. To be honest, um, they all tend to use different ECUs. I mean, this particular um, Fiesta has got this Siemens ECU and lots of the other ones have got different ones, but they all kind of work in the same way, where you've got a double-sided coil, if you like, firing two plugs at a time either way. Now, the way I realised this is because with the engine stopped, I did pull the plug caps off and try and start the engine and see if it made any difference. And when I pulled this side off, it made no difference at all because he was just running on two cylinders. So uh, I went and got a new coil, tried it, tried it, hmm, still no good. And then that's when I started digging a little deeper and found out about the ECU problem. So there you go now. And as you can hear with the air filter back on and uh, all the rest of it put back together, engine does run quite smoothly. So definitely running on four cylinders. Um, the only thing I would say, when you know, if, if you're messing around with HD coils and plug leads and things like that, don't be doing it when the engine's running because some of these uh, modern electronic ignition systems have got very, very high voltages on them, and you know there has been cases where people have been killed by it. So if you're going to pull leads 
off and plug caps off and things like that to test things, please do it with the engine stop.